morning. What, what is your response to those that are calling for you to resign? Um, I will not resign. I will be continuing to hold my office elected by the people. Well, the spectacle that is George Santos speaks for itself. Calls from New York colleagues for newly minted Congressman George Santos to resign are getting louder. Everything about him is fictional. Uh, the people that voted in that election voted thinking that he was somebody else who he not who he is not. Uh, how can we have that in our political system? It's an insult to me, but whether you're Democrat or Republican, to have someone like that in the House when he's a fraud. As more lies continue to come out, it's not just Democrats like Congressman Gregory Meeks, who says Santos is not fit to serve. New York Republican Congressman Mark Molinaro, Mike Lawler, and Anthony D'Esposito also say he should step aside. Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman says Congressman Desbozito has agreed to help out with issues related to Nassau County, part of Santos's district. I am not going to have any uh, contact whatsoever with George Santos or his office uh, because I can't trust him and I'm not going to deal with an elected official that I can't trust. Members of the county's GOP, the very people who vetted him, are calling on him to quit. He's not welcome here at Republican headquarters for meetings or at any of our events. As I said, he's disgraced the House of Representatives, and we do not consider him one of our Congress people. House Democrats have filed an ethics complaint against Santos, specifically about his financial disclosures. He was asked about those concerns Thursday, but still didn't seem to have a clear response. It didn't come from China, Ukraine, or Burisma. How about that? <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, that is an answer. Santos reiterated he has no plans to step down, and he does have some powerful people sticking by him, including House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. He's got a long way to go to earn trust. He will go before ethics. If anything is found to be have wrong, he will be held accountable. McCarthy did say Santos will not have a top security clearance. Queens County GOP Chair Tony Nunziato, also part of Santos' district, is sticking by him too. I didn't see anything illegal or hear anything illegal. And people are chasing him, but people who want to see. Two of Santos' New York colleagues say they're going to make sure this doesn't happen in the future. Congressman Richie Torres and Dan Goldman are introducing legislation that would require candidates for Congress file biographical information with the Federal Elections Commission. It's unlikely the Republican led House would take it up. Santos is also facing a number of investigations in New York State. Alex Miller, Scripps News, New York.